Hello and welcome to John's Author Diary for the week ending April 21st, 2019. This week has been a bit different to what I expected. My son went to stay with his grandma for a couple of days, so that gave me a chance to do some work. Now, because this wasn't scheduled work, I decided to focus on working on the Black Death series, so I wrote 20 scenes, so 10 scenes for book one, 10 scenes for book two. This is basically to fill in the gap from losing one of the collaborators. So my other collaborator, Lean, is now going to write some extra scenes as well. So they're very bare bones at the moment. They are in first draft state. I think what I'll probably end up doing is adding more descriptions, bringing out more of the emotional impact, but the dialogue's there now and some basic details because that's how I write. I tend to write something similar to a poorly written screenplay in my first draft and then I build on that and build on that until I get to my third and fourth drafts where I'm working on things on a sentence level. So I'm really pleased with how those scenes have gone. What I've done as well is revisited the first two books. I've reread them. I'm really excited about the story. I've been sat on it for over a year. And sometimes when you go back to stories after a long time, you think, oh, I need to do this, need to do this. And I think because I did quite a detailed outline for this, the story's solid. Book two especially, I really like the way the suspense builds up. The new scenes I've written are quite dark, so this isn't going to be a book for younger audiences. Most of my books that I write tend to be suitable for teenagers onwards, really. This one is definitely geared towards an adult audience. There's a lot of dark themes, a lot of bad language. It's much grittier, but I'm really proud of what we come up with. I think the third book, the scenes that I'm going to write for that, it's going to be a bit more involved. There's a lot more moving parts of the plot. It was more intricately planned out, so I need to work out how I can fit my additional scenes into what's already there. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. Also made a start on The Hermit, which is book nine in the Ravenglass Chronicles. So I wrote the first two scenes for that. I'm not sure yet how it's going to work with getting this next book out on time. Based on how long they usually take, it's looking unlikely. I've got my sister-in-law staying at the moment, and then next week my sister and her boyfriend are coming to stay for the week. And then the week after that, we've got a new boiler being fitted. I'll just see how things work out, but there's a chance that I might not even have a solid first draft until mid-May. So as well as the writing, I've also been doing more reading this week. I'm currently reading a book called Yendi, by Stephen Bruce. This is a fast-paced, tightly written fantasy assassin story. It's about a six-hour audiobook, so it's the perfect antidote after the 33-hour slog that was the Tad Williams book. I'm already halfway through, and it's a blast. I think it's a great series. Can't wait to get on to the next book. I watched the new episode of Game of Thrones this week, which was very exciting. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this turns out. Then my wife and I made a little bit of a date night of it, so we ordered some takeaway food. And as I say, my son was staying with his grandma, so we put our feet up and watched. Now, I don't know where I heard it, but I'd heard that the episodes in this series would be 90 minutes long. This one wasn't, it was 50 minutes, so it was just standard length episode. So when the credits came up, I was like, oh, okay, that came sooner than I thought. But still... Without giving away any spoilers, it was basically a lot of setup for the finale. As well as that, I've also been working on getting the episodes ready for the Sci-Fi Roundtable podcast. So this is a podcast that I've been doing with other science fiction and fantasy authors. There's usually two or three of us on a show talking about a subject in the sci-fi and fantasy realm. So we're looking at launching on April the 24th. So by the time next week's Author Diary comes out, it will be available the show's quite a lot different to anything that I've done before and there's a good division of labour, so I'm not having to do everything which suits me down to a T. So I had a question this week from Amelia. She asked, what is your favourite fantasy series? Now this is one of those questions where there's probably too many to name, but I think it'd have to be Brandon Sanderson's Stormlight Archive so far. It's a massive epic series, but there's still seven books to go on it, so we'll see how that pans out. I also love George R. R. Martin's Song of Ice and Fire, so much so that I've read all the spin-offs and novellas and things like that. And then there's the Powder Mage trilogy by Brian McClellan, which I really enjoyed. He's got the second trilogy in that. I think the second book of that's come out, so when the third book comes, I'll probably binge the entire series. I also really enjoyed R.J. Barker's Age of Assassins series. I think I read that one quite recently. And then I did an interview with him on the Stop Booking Around podcast, which really helped me when I was writing The Chariot in my Ravenglass Chronicles. And then there's The Gentleman Bastard by Scott Lynch. I think we're long overdue for the next book in that series. And speaking of long overdue, Patrick Rothfuss's King Killer Chronicles. How many years has it been now since book two came out? So I've been posting more stuff on my Patreon. So if you want to get access to this diary a day early, or if you want to read any of my short stories, 
or articles that I've written about various topics, please visit patreon.com slash John Cronshaw author. So if you found any value in this podcast or anything else that I do, you can support me there from as little as a dollar a month. So I need to thank my latest $3 patron. So thank you, Rebecca Hamrick. Really glad to have you on board. I hope you enjoy the stories and all the other crazy nonsense that I'll post. So until next time, cheerio. (laughs) 